Hey Tubers, uh, this is the first video, I might make a series of them, obviously it depends how it goes. Uh, this is Critical Psychology. This is just an introduction to the subject, um, I just hope to cover the essentials and uh, yeah, maybe I'll go into more interesting uh, and more specific topics after this. Okay, uh, this was a module that I studied last year in Critical Psychology and it was pretty good, it was pretty interesting. Um, one of my favourite modules, apart from obvious theories you might have guessed, I enjoy consciousness. But this probably second favourite module, so um, yeah, this is as well why I became a socialist. So I'm kind of tying in the two things together a little bit here. But anyway, here we go. Um, before we can actually discuss what critical psychology is, um, I think we need to discuss uh, what the psychology is. Um, okay, so psychology is basically the academic discipline which seeks to make ahistorical, value-free truths about individuals um, divorced from ideological or cultural contexts. That is, um, truths that, that are true for all time and across all cultures. Um, now, not everyone's so explicit about that, but that's essentially what it's trying to do. It's trying to atomize the individual. Um, obviously, ways that you can do this um, through observation, experimentation, and um, uh, making uh, rational statements uh, that can be tested about particular empirical observations that you've made before. Um, but again, trying to make uh, value-free ahistorical truths divorced from judgment is not possible. Um, furthermore, psychology isn't just uh, something that happens in universities, it's not just something that gets taught there, it's institutionalized. That is, um, we use it in um, for therapy, we use it um, in industry, um, in you know, commerce, we use it for advertising, we use it in our education system. So it's, it's right there. Um, basically, psychology as a discipline is um, the perceived way that we know the individual. So things that psychology as a discipline says have a profound effect on our perception of other individuals. Indeed, uh, the discipline of psychology um, you know, explicitly says that we can know individuals um, separate from particular cultural contexts. Um, so that's what psychology is. So critical psychology isn't just making superficial criticisms about uh, particular research methods that are involved in any given experiment, uh, particular interpretations. It, it's none of these mainstream critical, uh, mainstream criticisms of psychology. It stands outside psychology almost. Um, it acknowledges that one can't make objectively historical value-free truths about individuals um, divorced from ideolo uh, ideology or culture. Um, so it's purposely biased in that respect and purposely biased and it's very much on the left. Again, this is this is why I sort of started reading up on, on socialism and things like that. Um, so whereas psychology would say that we can make rules about the individual and we can apply these rules uh, to, to many individuals in a group and the dynamics of what constitute society. Critical psychology would turn this on its head and it would say uh, the individual is constituted by its role in, in society and he can't be separated from culture, uh, historical, epoch, um, era, whatever. Um, critical psychology would also, um, uh, well, <laughs> it would criticize everything to be honest, uh, that's its role, but um, one of the things that it says is uh, a capitalist society will always make a capitalist psychology and uh, I think sometimes we forget this when we're studying psychology. Um, so the, the, there's a number of important things that critical psychology can teach us. 
Um, firstly, it teaches us to take a historical perspective on things. You can't have psychology without history. Um, we have to actually look back, look way back to the beginnings of psychology, see the epistemic assumptions that were made, the influences, why one theory was chosen on, on over another, and why it then became um, unquestioned, uh, self-evident truth, where it might otherwise not have been. Because then we can see that uh, science isn't, isn't this linear progression that we make it out to be. And we can see that there are ideological, political, economic, and social factors which lead one theory to be chosen over another theory. Um, so once, once we accept this a little bit more, um, then we can really begin to criticize psychology. And like I said before, not just a superficial criticism, but really digging into the, the very roots and foundations of what psychology is. Because as, as I said before, psychology seeks to individualize, it seeks to atomize um, the person, as if a person could exist in a vacuum. Now, not all psychologists explicitly say this, um, but there are a few things certainly to be wary of. Um, there's, there's also the um, assumption in psychology that um, one, there is an innate, uh, you know, there's uh, an essence of man, there is, um, it's, it's the essential man, that there's this, this property which resides inside of man, outside of anything else that goes on. Um, Obviously, uh, we don't have to look too far back um, uh, into the history of the intelligence test, which was an atrocity. It was, it, and it's still used today. It's it's the most ridiculous uh, heuristic that is probably ever conceived. Um, I mean, I'm I'm going to go into the history of it in another video. And that's if you guys like this video. That is, um, but there are certainly many things that we have to be careful about because psychology isn't this innocent uh, objective science that we make it out to be um, you know many things uh, can be interpreted differently and we have to look back at why we interpret things as self-evident when clearly they are not um, so with with critical psychology we take a more holistic perspective, we look at the different uh, cultural um, assumptions, implicit and explicit, we look at the role of history, uh, and more importantly we look at the role of ideology. Um, ideology cannot be divorced from theory. So that's what critical psychology is. It's basically attacking the very roots of psychology um, from a socialist perspective. Um, I might do another video on, as I said, evolution, eugenics, and the IQ test. Stay tuned.